This is the USDA texture triangle, or the texture classification triangle. And this uh, texture triangle was developed by the uh, USDA. The USDA is the United States uh, Department of Agriculture. And this is a triangle that we'll use uh, to classify different types of soils that will later give us this thing soil groups okay so if you don't know how to read this don't worry that's what this video is all about I'll, I'll, I'll show you how to read this really quickly um, it's not too difficult actually uh, if you have okay so this texture triangle has three sides hence the name triangle okay on one side you have uh, clay clay right here on another side you have silt and then finally you have sand down here, okay? So if you knew, let's say you had a, this is a soil, okay, or a sample of soil, and you knew how much uh, clay, how much percent of the soil was clay, how much percent of it was silt, and how much uh, percent of it was sand, you could use this texture trying to, to figure out what the general uh, soil type is um, in this sample, okay? Now, um, let's see, so you have uh, clay, you have silt, and you have sand. Although, uh, you'd, although this uh, triangle has three sides, you only need two out of these three things to figure out what type of soil uh, you're dealing with, okay? So let's say you had, um, I don't know, let's say the clay content in this was 60 65 percent so 65 percent clay uh, and then let's say you had uh, 30 percent um, I don't know 30 percent silt okay so you have two out of the three things the clay and the silt what you go what you do is you come over here to this texture triangle and let's do the clays first the 65 percent clay so these numbers are horizontal. So you read the clay a percentage horizontally. So 65% would be somewhere somewhere over here, right? So I'm going to draw a line um, from here to here. So 65% clay. 30% silt. So you go to the silt side, and these numbers, notice that they're uh, diagonal. So you draw a line um, that's parallel to their direction. Uh, that they're written in. So 30% would be somewhere over here. So you draw know, a line here. Okay. And notice that these two lines uh, intersect. They intersect right here. And this intersection is in this in this little section and it's a, it's a clay. So you know that the soil type here is a clay. Now if you had let's say um, Let's say 40%, let's do another quick example. Let's say you had 40% sand, okay, 30% um, clay, and then you had 30% uh, silt, okay? So let's do it in blue. No, we already did blue. Let's do it in red. So you go to uh, sand first, sand is down here. 40% uh, is right here, so you draw a line uh, that's parallel to the direction the numbers are written in. So I'm going to draw a line there. That's 40% sand. Then you have 30% clay. 30% clay is, is right about here. And then you have 30% silt. And 30% silt is this blue line again. And notice that these three lines um, intersect uh, right here. So this soil is a clay clay loam, all right? And when we use this texture triangle, we can um, identify later the uh, different uh, soil types, or yeah, the soil groups um, up here, okay? So as a quick uh, little um, overview of the texture triangle, uh, we'll be using this in one of our examples. Um, so see you then.